What you see here is a visualization of 3D Voronoi noise using ray marching. So this is already rendered and as you can see this is the one in Blender. It's running a bit slower because it's quite heavy. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you how I made this. Um, so this is the basic ray marching setup. Uh, one thing I changed because I discovered this recently is instead of using um, the camera data node to get the position of the camera, you can use the vector transform and then choose the origin and then choose the camera origin and transform that to the world origin. Um, transform the camera origin to world space, which will just give you the location of the camera in the world. And um, this is just to flip the incoming uh, ray to outgoing. And the rest of this is just the same as we've done before with ray marching. So the important, and this is just the start of the clip, clip start. So if I increase this, eventually we'll slice off a part of the, as you can see we're slicing off a part of the image. Um, so this is the node. Use the vector rotate node, which is also new. Um, just a little bit of slant. It's not exactly around the z-axis. It's a little bit slanted, which gives it a little bit more, makes it more interesting. Then for the distance field, we're using a sphere SDF, which is the length minus um, the radius, and um, the Voronoi texture, which gives you the distance to the edge, which is also a distance field. And that's how we're getting um, the distances here. And in addition to that, we're also subtracting 0 0.03, which is just the thickness of these lines, like that. And then the smooth maximum is um, to get the intersection, because um, when you're looking at it, comparing two distances, and if you take the maximum, you're just thinking which one is furthest away, which is equivalent to taking um, the intersection of both of these shapes. The reason we're, we need to take the intersection with the sphere is because otherwise it will try to render infinite amount of this Voronoi texture, which um, just ruins the image. It's already pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think I just used 16 of these. Yeah, 16, because there's an extra one here. And then just into a color ramp and emission shader. So yeah, that's it.